Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torn and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing as the Byzantine Empire. Alright, so before we continue our invasion of occupied France, we're going to go ahead and move our submarines into the western Mediterranean Sea. And we'll see how they do over there. We got a ton of subs, so if we lose a few because we don't have any air support over here, then I think we'll be fine. Alright, so we're wrapping up this territory here. Need to get these troops destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy help out with this, get it done a little bit quicker. And we'll go ahead and take that one as well, and let's just go straight over across here to get that done. And then whoever's coming over here, we're going to leave them on to, or actually, let's put them onto this uh, front here. And we do have some troops coming over here. Will we get there before them? Probably not, but we can actually defeat them there, so... Yeah, I think it's fine. We'll just go ahead and let him attack, as he's already set to do. Uh, let's go and take this province here. So we were able to win here, but we actually have a division that's going to move over there. So let's make sure that we stop that. And then let's just go ahead and move straight on over here. I know that we do open ourselves up to potentially losing that. We'll see. Let's move these guys over here. Yeah, and then they'll come over this way. But we gotta get the Maginot Line. Oh, that's a shame. Looks like they're gonna get out of here. But yeah, we gotta get this shut down here so these troops can't can't leave. I suppose we could come through this way as well. Let's go and take this province here. And let's see how these troops are doing up here. Alright, so a lot of these... See, I'm not gonna... I'm actually not gonna leave too many divisions over here, guys. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be switching up the way our armies are set up here. We're going to have the entire Red Army come over here and we'll be taking some of the units out of the Red Army to replace these guys that are currently in the Purple Army here. So it looks like there's five of these divisions total so what we'll want to do is take five from the Red Army and put them over there uh, which I think we're going to do now. Um, so let's go and take just the five closest divisions here. And then put them onto this frontier. Get rid of this one here. And then take any Red Army divisions that are still sitting around. It looks like he's the only one. And make sure they come on over to here. Now, I'm miscounting because there's 15 assigned here. While we only have, well, I guess we have four assigned here. Okay, I see. So let's get these guys coming over here. All right, excellent. And then we'll want to pull out the five of these garrison divisions here and just put them into a separate army for now we'll probably keep them down here so let's just give them a commander but what these guys are going to be doing here as far as who we're going to give them probably just somebody who's like really good at defense yeah i suppose we could use this guy yeah we'll use him and let's see what he's got it's just the, the gorilla fighter Oh, there's actually some options up over here. Uh, we could do the Combines Arms Expert. Is this the guy that I was going to use for our tanks? Let me just check here. Because, yeah, I think this guy might have been the one I was planning on using for the tanks. Yeah. Okay, so actually we need to appoint a different commander here. And I think we'll just use uh, Napoleon. Yeah, I'll put him in place for now. Let me see if he's got anything that will actually be helpful here. Not really. Okay, so he'll be in command of these five divisions, and uh, what they're going to be doing is covering our ports so the British won't be able to invade this territory. You can see we already have an invasion that's set up to happen here. So let's go ahead and set it up to defend only the ports, and then we'll eventually extend this all the way through France. So obviously we're going to need more troops. And so what I'd like to do is go ahead and set up to train a few more of these garrison divisions. Because we have the, the equipment for the most part for them. I know we're lacking the support equipment in the, the trucks. And we'll do like six of these to get a total of ten. I don't know if that'll be enough to cover all these ports. Probably not. There are a lot of ports in France. But we'll also have divisions from our uh, puppet countries as well. Obviously we're going to have some issues here. Because yeah, like, we don't want these divisions here leaving. So let's put this into a separate army for right now under this Demetrios. 
So he'll be in there, and that'll allow us to make sure that these guys don't leave just yet. Yeah, because I want to keep these ones here for now. Uh, we did take this province here. Alright, so we're just going to have to wait till we get more troops over here. And then over here, I think it's fine if this guy leaves. Yeah, I think that's fine, so we'll let him go. Alright, so we should be good to go. We've got eight and six over here. I actually want to have like a, a good number of divisions down here. So we currently have nine, and then we can bring these three over there. That'll get us to 12, let me pull two out, and that leaves us with 10. And that's probably good. So maybe 10 down there, and then 14 up here. So I think we should be good to go. So just need to wait for all of our divisions to get their locations now. This guy's coming over here. We'll probably just want to go there for now, and then we'll defend against that river attack. And let's also make sure we're getting ourselves planning bonuses here. So let's move these guys. We'll take a look at the, the sea battle that just happened. I believe this is one we already looked at, uh, but there haven't been additional ships sunk since we looked at it. Uh, so we sunk a battle cruiser, four heavy cruisers, six light cruisers, and 24 destroyers, as well as one submarine, losing only eight of our own planes. Did take some damage, so it's going to take some time for that fleet to repair, but overall this was a fantastic battle. So that's our second really good battle so far. So they should be really hurting. Yeah, 241 now. And it won't be long before our fleet is actually bigger than theirs. And yeah, we sunk a bunch of those capital ships, guys. That was incredibly helpful. Uh, so let's go ahead and have this guy. Oh, that's our territory. Okay. So once we take this. So once we take this here, those guys are going to move over to here. That's all 19 red divisions in this territory. Uh, so we can see if there's anything we can do over here while I'm looking at it. Uh, this is another fort, so we're going to attack it. And then we're also going to push forward here. So just waiting for those divisions to get over to that territory. Uh, what I'd like to do is go ahead and give this up to the Germans so that they can occupy it. So we don't have to face that resistance. We don't have to garrison it. Because this is core territory for them. You know, for the Germans. So uh, because of that... They won't have to occupy it at all. And so it would be in their hands, uh, best used in, in their hands. Uh, they'll get more manpower, they'll get better access to the factories and the resources. And we will still defend it for them though. We will not give them this territory on the Rhine uh, just because I want to make sure I'm the one getting uh, occupation for, for France. Because I don't think they would do so well occupying all of France. Uh, so just give them this territory here. Uh, so yeah, let's go and set that up. And then that'll pull back on what we need for our garrisons. Currently need 175,000. So once they accept that, should need significantly less. Yeah, 145,000 now. Uh, so we do have some, some factories available here. So I'm not entirely sure why we got access to more factories once I did that. So we're starting to run out of infantry equipment again. So let's go ahead and put more factories into, uh, into the infantry equipment three. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the uh, one line that we had going there. And we'll put it into support equipment as well because I noticed that that is still short. And then I guess we can try and fix the anti-air situation. Uh, so we no longer need to trade for as much steel, which is good because we're not even getting any of that anyways. Uh, we are short on tungsten and rubber. So let's go ahead and trade for that from... We could trade with Burma. And then you don't have to use any cowboys. It looks like we're also not getting our full rubber here. That dude did, that's naval route efficiency. Okay. So that's fine. We're just losing the one rubber right now. Okay, also, we did get another air base over here. I don't think we've, yeah, we haven't fully staffed it. Uh, those uh, planes that were resulting in it being overstaffed have left the AI planes. Uh, we also have our own planes over here that we're not just training, but also kind of building up those air wings. So that takes time. Okay. So just need to finish up in Sicily to get these troops back. And we should put this guy, this army, underneath the field marshal here. And then hopefully you can get Sicily conquered without too many issues. But we're probably not going to be able to advance this way with the current number of troops that are here. I mean, I guess you got extra ones here. And just bring them in. Yeah, that makes sense. Just bring this guy down here and then we can do this attack. 
But we're not going to win there. There's just too many troops there. So still trying to cut off these guys here. And it looks like I'm letting them get out of here. So let's go and stop some of this. So we want to stop them right there. And then try and get the win here. I can also try and tank right there. It looks like that should be a victory too. Uh, let's go and get across this river. And now we got units over here. So we can advance this front a bit. So we're going to go and take that territory. Uh, we'll see if there's anything else we can do here. Uh, let's let this guy leave. Yeah, six hours. We'll let him leave. And then, yeah, we can just go and keep on advancing through... So you can't go straight over here. Oh, okay, there's, I see. There's a province right there. So we're going to take that one. And we'll see if we can't cut these guys off here by getting a win right here and right here. Now we do need more units over here, but they are on the way. Okay, so things are looking pretty good overall. Having some supply issues here. It looks like we should win here. Uh, this is now opened up, so might as well just go ahead and take these provinces. we got to keep those ones locked down. Let's go and do another attack here before they get out. Yeah, it looks like they're about to break out here. Can these guys attack? They cannot. Okay. So just need to keep those guys locked down. There we go. Excellent. So now we can go ahead and stop that. So we did cut off, it looks like... Okay, Italy just capitulated, so we did advance there into Sicily. Uh, so we should have control of all of it now. Yep. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to set these guys to come over here. So maybe just have all of them go right there for now. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then we'll try and get some of these troops cut off over here. And once they come over here, then we'll, we'll change up the, the armies again. Get rid of that. And we've been embargoed by the Swiss Confederation. So remember we have them set up to go their Imperial route. And so they are a threat. They could end up attacking us. They absolutely hate us right now. Okay, so we could... I guess we can try and improve the relations with them. We're doing that with Spain as well. I think Spain, we should be able to get a non-aggression pact once relations are completely improved. We're only at 68 right now, but I was looking at this and we're pretty close. We're at negative four. I think it'll be, yeah, it might not be quite there. Might be at zero. Yeah, I think it's gonna put us at, at zero where you gotta be at plus one. So might not be able to get the non-aggression pact with them. We lost another submarine over here, unfortunately. Uh, over here, though, we sunk two Italian light cruisers and nine destroyers. We do have some decisions available here. Triumph for Italy. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we control all of Italy, this is going to give us the cores. And that's the last of the Byzantine decisions. So we're sitting at 157,000 for our garrison. So we'll see how much that reduces it. But I mean, a lot of the territory we're currently garrisoning is in Italy. So that's going to be really helpful. Uh, let's wait to sign these factories. There's only one, and we're about to get a bunch more with those cores. So let me just give it a moment to update here. Probably take about a day. So here on the 15th, we'll take a look at everything again. Uh, so we lost this territory here, so let's go ahead and take it back. And we can go ahead and have this all be one front as well. Oh, that unfortunately ended that attack. That's okay. So yeah, let's just have this all be one front. Let's go and advance here. And yeah, we'll just go here. Get that province taken. Still advancing over here. And now it's just a matter of getting these guys wiped out. Let's go and take this province here. We'll go here as well, though I think these guys are about to leave, so they'll probably, yeah, we'll probably uh, have to attack them there, but that's fine. And then this guy will advance over here. He's grabbing this province for us. We'll go ahead and get across the river before those defenders come over here. And we see how we're doing on the garrison. 157,000. So it has not updated yet. Oh, yes. Let's try and get across the river here while we can. Uh, we did cut these troops off. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and do our attacks here. I'm going to bring this guy over here with him. I'm going to attack. Hmm. Let's go here. Okay, so we're currently defending. So let's go and attack here then. And then let's go ahead and also support this. Get that done. 
Go and take that province. And let's see. 161,000. So we actually have a higher number of garrisons. I feel like that has not updated just yet. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and see how the factories look. Yeah, we did get we did get all the factories here. I just think it's the garrison that hasn't updated. So now we have uh, 238 factories available to us because of uh, all of Italy. Uh, also, we no longer have steel shortages. So we won't have to trade for that anymore. It's just going to be the, the tungsten and the rubber. We also got access to more dockyards. Okay, so let's just do... Man, we'll just do another line of submarines. Is that we don't have any up-to-date ships at all that we can make use of besides the submarines. And I don't think it's necessary either because we seem to be doing fine in the seas with the fleet that we took from enemies. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, also, we can set them to use more ships for repairs. Speed this process up a little bit because we care more about getting those ships repaired than we do actually uh, building new ones. So yeah, I think that's pretty good, guys. So we've used all of our military factories here. We do need more resources, uh, more rubber particularly, but also some tungsten here. Oh, we can't trade with Burma anymore. Oh yeah, that's right, they're embargoing us. We saw that. Uh, so we'll have to trade with, we'll trade with Spain. See how that goes. Um, so yeah, the relations is up here, but not quite enough yet. But again, I don't think we're gonna do this. Because yeah, once we get it up to 10, that'll give us 10 points total, so another three, and then I'll put us at zero. So I'm not sure how to get the extra point. So we can actually do that non-aggression pact, and then we don't have to worry about the Spanish attacking us. All right, so he's going across the river. He's taking that province. It's going to go here. And uh, we'll also take this one. And just trying to get these troops finished up here. Let's go and support this attack. Let's get them wiped out a little bit quicker. So now we're looking at 124,000. So it has finally updated. And we can see how much it's it's now costing us. So we need to get these troops wiped out. Uh, let's go ahead and do this attack. I don't think we should attack across a river into a, a level 10 fort. It's going to be bad enough as it is. As you can see, we're, we're struggling here to just get these two units wiped out. Because of the level 10 fort. So uh, let's make sure that there's a planning bonus just in case they can't get it done on the first attack. And we do have a new airbase that's a little bit closer here. So let's go ahead and move all these planes in. It's also a very large airbase as well. So they'll have better efficiency. And let's take a look at this naval battle. Uh, we lost, uh, excuse me, we sunk some convoys here. Now that we move the, the submarines into the new region. And we are bombing their ships here as well. Okay, I wish we had more naval bombers. That'd be really helpful. Um, so we're still waiting for the other troops to come over here, but it looks like we could easily just cut these guys off. Take that port right there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And then we'll wait to pull these other troops out till these guys over here arrive. All right, let's go and support that attack. And we did have a naval battle over here. We sunk four of those convoys. All right, let's go and push forward. So yeah, still working on getting these guys destroyed. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work. We're gonna attack across here. Oops, like so. And now we gotta get across this river. So we have 10 divisions currently. So we have to finish this up to free up those other four, which are gonna be necessary to really push forward here. We're gonna take this province though. Can see that we are having some supply issues here. Like we have pushed ahead of the rails and the uh, supply hubs. We got these troops in here. This is open, so let's go ahead and take this this province here. I don't know where that guy's going, but uh, might be this one, might be this one. Looks like that one. Sometimes it's gonna be kind of hard to tell. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys come over here now. And we did get our support weapons four. All right, excellent. All right, so we are very close in 1943, but let's go ahead and get the infantry anti-tank ones. We have seen that the British have been using medium tanks. I don't know what the Soviets have. Yeah, having continued success here in the seas as well. All right, so I don't know if we'll be able to get that port, but at the very least you can attack here. 
So let's go and pull this back here. And just go and do the attack there then. Because yeah, you got three divisions. It's going to cause us problems no matter what. Uh, when does this guy get over here? One day and two hours. We got to make sure we don't get ourselves cut off here. So we'll get a unit there in time. But we're going to need to attack here, clearly. And we are still facing those naval invasions over here. So that should be... So that's in Hanover. So that's going to be probably this port. Or they won't attack a port, in which case we'll be able to easily get them wiped out. So we have those three divisions set up to do that. Let's go and attack over here. Still trying to find a place across the river. There's really nowhere where we'd be able to successfully win there. Uh, let's go across here. Alright, not a whole lot we can do. What I, I would like to see happen is us be able to connect these two lines. So we need to make sure we get this province here. We got somebody over here. We're still winning there, so might as well let them continue it. Uh, we can also push forward over here. Alright, and then what we want to do is... Let's just hold on to these provinces here. And that sound is, like, incredibly annoying. <laughs> so let's go to move these guys over here. And then once we finish up this pocket, we'll get rid of this, this kind of uh, brown color army here. Alright, let's go and attack here. But we need to get the port taken. So let's see if we can't win there. In fact, let's send this guy over here to assist. Alright, so they're attacking us there. We got the defense going so they couldn't reconnect. So we need to get across this river, so this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and have... Alright, we're going to go this way. We'll make sure somebody gets over there and gets that done. We'll go ahead and start that attack to lock those troops down, and I suppose we can get across the river right here. Yeah, that'll work out. Oh, we did finish that pocket up. Well, where'd those troops go then? Of course, the uh, the wrong way. <laughs> so we wanted them over here, and they went the way I didn't want them. Uh, you can see this is the front where we need the most troops. I'm not entirely sure why they went over there. Uh, Paris is within our grasp here. So we're going to grab it. Looks like we were able to Get the win there. Alright, so we don't actually need both of those units over there, so let's go and push forward. I was just wanting whichever one got there first. We'll continue the attack across the river. And yeah, he'll take this airbase for us and cut off that one British division. And let's go and push forward over here as well. we will move this guy over here. And he'll go here so he can wipe out that unit once he's cut off. I suppose he could have done it from where he's at, but uh, yeah, we'll move move forward a little bit. So this is not disappearing. But yeah, we're sinking more troops in the sea. I think the majority of these are troop convoys. Uh, we have sunk a, a submarine there. That's a freight convoy. That's a freight convoy too. But those are our troop convoys. Those are freight convoys as well. Alright, so maybe the majority of these are actually freight convoys. I was hoping troops that were moving a lot were getting <laughs> sunk. Uh, we almost have another division here. So they'll go over to this front, which I've been kind of ignoring here because it's just not a very important front. Not right now, anyways. Uh, we'll have this guy come over here, make sure we don't get ourselves cut off. Do we have enough visions to really cover this entire front? Okay, so a weird situation has developed down here. I see, yeah, it's like all messed up. Okay. Hmm. Let's see how we want to go about doing this. Let's have this guy attack down here while these two go over here. And then, I'm going to see if we can't get that win if we throw all these divisions into the attack. Alright, so that ended up working out. So now we want, we want to let this guy leave here, and then we'll try attack there. And we can also push forward here and here. We'll cut off that one division. And then we'll go ahead and get across the river right there. And maybe we'll attack here. Hmm. And once he leaves, we don't have anybody else to, to finish that. But, uh, yeah, just kind of slowly work on cutting troops off. Obviously, it's not incredibly efficient or effective when you just don't have the, the division numbers. Uh, they are pushing across the river here because we don't have uh, enough troops over here. Uh, let's go and wipe out this guy now that we've gotten him cut off. Uh, we're going to take that airbase as well. Let's go and attack right there, and we'll push forward over here. 
once we're done with that defense. Moving towards Paris now. It looks like one of those Belgian divisions got there first, but that's okay. Alright, so this is clearly not going to work. So we just need more uh, divisions over here. Now you can see we're having some problems. Make sure they go on this front rather than this one here. Looks like we actually have a bunch of troops set to go on that one. Okay, so yeah, all these guys go here. I know I did just end some of these attacks, but that's okay. Alright, so let's see if we can't cut off the divisions. Hmm. So we'd want to sweep across here and then get the win here. And that'll cut off all those divisions. Alright, so still attempting to wipe out those troops as well. And it looks like we should be able to get, at the very least, this airbase, if not the port as well. Let's go and grab that province too. All right, so we still haven't seen the attacks up here just yet. Uh, let's see what we've done in these Mediterranean battles. Well, looks like that's it. Uh, and we got more military factories got to get assigned. So we're going to keep devoting these factories towards our medium tank divisions. Of course, the main issue is efficiency right now. And we're not getting everything here due to the naval route efficiency. So that's a problem. I don't know if there's much we can do about that. So let's just go ahead and trade with another country. We'll trade with the Americans. Try and fix those, those shortages we're having there. And then with the rubber, this is just needing more of it. Okay. So still trying to get these troops wiped out. Almost done with that. So let's go ahead and have these guys attack here. Uh, this is not going to be successful, but we can keep them locked down temporarily and just go ahead and cut them off. Now, given they're not like entirely cut off because they have ports, but uh, you know, if the, they don't actually order them to leave here, then it's treated as if they're completely cut off. Uh, so we can actually now take these guys here and put them back into this army here. All right, so it looks like we got too many armies of the same colors here. This is really confusing. So let's go ahead and fix this. This can just be a yellow army. This here. We'll just have this army be this pink color here. All right, and that should help me understand what the hell's going on here. Because, uh, yeah, these two are supposed to go into this army over here. And then this army, we want all of them put onto this front here. All right, so that leaves seven over here. We need to fix this on this guy over here. So that brings us to eight. So he needs to be brought over here as well. That's nine. There should be one more division somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where they're at. Maybe they got moved over to here. Yeah, it looks like we have 15 here. Okay, there he is right there. All right, so he's the one that needs to get moved over here. I know this might... Nope, it didn't. It didn't take him off the attack. All right, excellent. Um, so now let's go ahead and try and... Oh, I guess we don't have to do that. We have this guy set up to do it. So he'll take that for us. Let's go and dip back over to the eastern front. Since we haven't looked at it for a little while. Uh, so we did get these guys cut off. Uh, let's go ahead and get them destroyed now. Shouldn't be too difficult. And then let's just go ahead and push forward up this way. And uh, hopefully we don't get cut off doing it the, like this. We'll see. Alright, so this guy's going to come over here. I'm going to bring him to ramp up around him. Still trying to get the win here. And also, what do we do over here? Okay, so let's go ahead and have these guys attack down this way now. Alright, so yeah, the front's a little crazy over here. About to take this province here, if we can get there before that guy, which we did. Excellent. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and support this attack. We could also have wrapped around here, and I guess that's what we'll do after we finish with that support. Just cut off that one division for now. Uh, let's go ahead and support this one. All right, and he's pushing forward that way while he's going over here. And that'll cut off three divisions. And it looks like these, uh, these, this one division should be able to get this done on its lonesome. We do still have Paris, but we're about to get cut off, so we're going to need to do an attack here to stop that uh, until we get that other division over to here. And let's go and attack this guy as well. And we'll also take this province if we can do that before the other division gets over there. Uh, let's go and push forward here and grab that province as well. 
take these two and then have him push forward. And we're still trying to connect here. It looks like we had difficulty with this one here. So let's go ahead and attack that guy to lock him down. And then he's going to sweep across here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. All right, so once we get them cut off, we'll start attacking over there. Uh, let's actually go ahead and advance this way. And you know what? Let's go and attack. Can we do this? We cannot. All right, so we're going to attack over here. We'll see how well that works out. Uh, this one's now open. Let's go and attack here. All right, so those guys should be taken off the other way. Hope they're not planning on going by sea. I'm not sure what they were doing. All right, so just waiting to get some of those troops over to the front. Let's see how things are going over here. We'll get that province taken soon. He's still advancing up here towards Riga. Still trying to get those guys wiped out. Just a couple divisions left. Uh, we should be able to, let's see here, attack this guy soon, as soon as we take that one province there. Just having difficulty making sure these guys don't get reconnected here. And let's actually stop this and then advance over here. We'll get those guys cut off as well. Alright, so somebody's got to get across the river here. Or we can attack down this way. I suppose that will work as well. Just bring him over here. He might not be able to do that on his lonesome though. So what we might want to do... Send this guy over here so we're not doing across the river attacks that they can be avoided. Uh, we do have a... Uh, Another naval doctrine available, so let's go and get the battleship, battle cruiser, heavy cruiser organization. So I'm moving through the naval doctrine tree. Let's see how things are going over here. Uh, should have those divisions wiped out soon. Let's go and advance here and get across the river. Uh, that was a failed attack, so might as well cancel it. So now we're working on trying to get these guys wiped out. Okay, so what you have to do, we got to finish that attack first. And yeah, we're having him come over there, that's fine. He's already going over this way. All right, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward across here. Okay, you already have that guy going that way, so let's have him come over here then. And we'll go to advance over here. We did get the radar tech. So we're going to go and get the next one. And I believe that this one here did come with the new radios. So we're going to want to put those onto our tanks. All right, so let's go to get the next radar tank. Take a look at these battles real quick. And then we'll go into the, the tank designer and get the, the new radios on there. And I think it's just the artillery and the tank. So yeah, we don't need to look at our flamethrowers. Uh, let's go and make them C, a C variant. And then I'll go ahead and get the new advanced radios on there, which will increase our breakthrough by four and our defense by 1.6. I don't know if it's actually worth losing a little bit of efficiency by doing this just for some new radios, but hey, that's what we're doing. It doesn't affect the efficiency a lot. See it go down a little bit there, but yeah, it does have its effect. And then the next thing we gotta do is these ones. So let's go ahead and change up their letter as well, and then get the new radios, and that'll make a bigger difference. 8.2 for the breakthrough, still just the 1.6 for the defense. And I did not put the D on there. So let's go and save that. And then get these updated as well. And yeah, that's really the problem right now is the efficiency here. Let me take a look at our training trips over here. So we got this guy done. So let's go ahead and put him into this army here. I also need to train these guys up if we ever get the opportunity to do so. So you're just waiting for this one division here. And then he's going to come over to this red front. Uh, let's go and get these guys wiped out. All right, so they're attacking there. Let's go ahead and do an attack here and here. And then he's gonna go fill this in for us. I guess he can fill in from this direction. He's gonna go across here, and then I guess we'll just go and take these provinces. Kind of thicken up the, bur the borders, give it a little bit of girth here. We're gonna also support that attack. Make sure we can get that done. Still moving towards this province to get the rest of these divisions cut off. Okay, so yeah, definitely kind of a weird situation down here. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna how we're gonna handle this, because honestly, I kind of want this territory to get taken over from the Americans. And it's just a weird situation because we're not in the the war with Russia yet. Uh, we did sink two more destroyers here. 
But yeah, until we finish up in France, I don't want to, to join that conflict. Alright, so let's go ahead and start doing some attacks over here. Kind of closing this in a little bit. And let's see how we're doing on this front. So yeah, we're not going to win there. Yeah, they're definitely causing us some problems over here now. I, I suppose we're just going to go up behind them. Let's go and attack them there. See if we can't grab these ports. And just get these troops cut off. So we'll go ahead and go this way. And he'll go this way. We'll also take these air bases over. Go and take all these victory points. And we'll just get across the river here. So we did just enter into 1943. Let's go and see if we can't get that cut, uh, troop cut off. We'll attack. Well, we already got somebody going over there, so let's attack over here then. And then this guy will go ahead and take that province. All right, so all these troops should be moving onto this front here, which has now merged. Okay, I see. So now we need to get rid of that front. Put them all onto the same front now. And stretch this out like so. So they should be all good to go now. All right, excellent. And now we just need to get this here taken care of. And I'm going to try and attack over here just to lock that unit down while this guy attempts to push forward here. At least get behind him this way. And yeah, just keep on pushing the front forward. Even if we can't really defend the entire thing. And uh, yeah, we just keep getting these military factories that we're taking from... Uh, I guess this is the ones we're taking from the British here in, in France. Uh, let's see how we're doing on other equipment. I mean, we're losing a lot of infantry equipment. And again, efficiency is really the issue, so I mean, you can throw as many factories as you want into that. But it's kind of irrelevant. If you just don't have the efficiency. Also, we had some, some battles over here, let's see what happened. We got uh, three convoys sunk there. It seems like most of these are all convoys. Did lose a submarine there. And the majority of those convoys, yeah, are freight convoys now. Okay. Also, something happened over here. All right, so let's go ahead and do this attack. Try and get these troops wiped out. Looks like we got a green all the way around. So should get those, I said like four divisions wiped out soon. Make sure the should these guys are sticking around here. Yeah, they're all attempting to leave. We don't want them going anywhere. Because there's a new front that was created, I see. Okay, so let's go and advance down the coast here. Let's have this guy go towards Dunkirk. No evacuation for the British this time. And, yeah, we're having a lot of difficulty over here, guys. Let's have these guys stay here. We'll do this attack. That's not going to work. Let's go this way. We're going to need to send more units over here, clearly. Let's send that guy this way. So we need to finish this up. But, yeah, there's a lot of troops that we have the... The capacity to destroy, but obviously we've got to have the divisions over there to be able to handle it, to be able to do it. Let's go and push forward here and here. Alright, so these guys should have them cut off soon. And then we don't need to cover all this. So we'll have this guy go over this way. And... Was that Italy again? That said it had a civil war? Not entirely sure where they would have that civil war. So they don't have any territory. And you can see they didn't lose anything here. Maybe I read it wrong though. Now they do still control all of Sweden and Norway for the most part. You see the allies have had success throughout here. But I'm wondering, are the Soviets pushing them back over here? I need to kind of watch where those borders are at. I know they've been pretty close to Moscow for a while. Yeah, I'm curious to see who's like winning up along this border between the Allies and the the Fourth International. Uh, so let's go and attack over here. See if we can't get the win now. Yeah, I almost don't want to cover this. Let's just have them go over here. We'll get rid of this. They want to advance in this territory. That's fine. Let's go and do this attack here. We got those troops cut off. Hmm. All right, so they're about to take that, which would reconnect them here. We're gonna bring a unit in there, but he wouldn't have had. Any strength. We can attack here. Yeah, we're kind of in a a pickle here. <laughs> so we're gonna try and 
I guess we'll bring this guy over here. I don't think he's going to get over there in time. But this should reconnect him, but we got to get the win there, of course. But yeah, it does look like we're going to get cut off there. And we got a bunch of divisions assigned over here, so that's unnecessary. I think just having the one should be, or the two should be enough. So we're going to get that taken care of. And let's go and attack this one medium tank division over here. We'll actually go ahead and give them a bit of support so we can get it done a little bit quicker. Alright, so it is difficult managing all the different fronts here. Not being quite as efficient as we could be. But that's okay. Let's go and take this province here. And yeah, they are definitely stretching out the, the front now. And we've got a division cut off. Uh, so we need to devote more units over to there. So I think the best way to do that, let's send these guys over here. Bring him over here. He's already going over that way. He is as well. All right, excellent. And then take this guy and bring him over here. All right, so they should be taken off. Let's have this guy help out. Get that done. And we just got a few things done here. All right, so we don't need him over there anymore. Let's have him come over here and help us out where we're currently losing territory. All right, so that was the mountain warfare. So let's go and get the next focus, which is the last one in this branch, which is the modern cataphracts, which is funny since that's what we named our uh, tanks, our tank divisions. So this is a research bonus for the mechanized equipment one. So the main bonus that we're getting here, since we're not even researching heavy tanks, is the uh, recruitable population, which we don't need more population. We're pretty good on manpower. Uh, but then the 5% reinforce rate, that's actually pretty good. So that'll be helpful. So we'll work on that. Uh, we sunk four British destroyers there and seven British convoys, which we saw those were not the troop convoys. And then four more convoys sunk there. All right, so having a lot of success in the Mediterranean still, which is good. And uh, trying to get that unit there wiped out. But you know what? Let's just go up behind him. Or just let him leave here. And he's going to leave in 17 hours, so just, just let him leave. Makes far more sense. I guess he can go this way, and he can go over here. Let's take this province. Yeah, having a lot of difficulty up here in the north, guys. It's kind of a, a major problem here at this point. So let's see if we can't get him connected in some capacity. And I guess we'll just go ahead and wrap this up over here. Although, you know what? There's no ports there, so that's really not a priority. So let's actually have troops go over this way. And then we'll just have this guy fill this in here. Since we are stretching ourselves out over here. This will take that province as well. And he can go and grab this force once he finishes up with that defense. And then he's going to go across here. And we'll see if we can't get that division cut off. Yeah, we just need more units coming over to this front. So we can get this wrapped up. As it looks like we should get this here. That will not reconnect them though, unfortunately. Alright, so we are in a, a bad situation over here. We've got to get him reconnected. But yeah, there's not much we can do here. because This division is probably not going to win against anybody. So yeah, we have some, some major issues over here. They're trying to wipe this guy out. Now, as of right now, we would win. Hmm. I guess we'll let him move there, since he's already almost there. At least it gives us a place to retreat to. But let's see if we can't defeat that division, who's now cut off. So we're both cut off from supply. And that'll reconnect us as well. So that should work out pretty well. And then let's go ahead and have these guys do this attack. And that will ensure he gets connected too. So it looks like we're out of the immediate danger now. We can also connect over here. Okay, so yeah, the situation looks a lot better at this point. But this is not good. So let's go to get this fixed. I'm going to push forward over this way. Uh, actually, hmm, I guess we'll attack here. And then here to lock that unit down. And that'll cut off these troops. Yeah, still a lot of wide open front here. Let's go and take this province. Oh, they're advancing down here. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, so let's go and attack. Hmm. Yeah, they've retaken a port. Alright, so we need to go over here. So they're just advancing very quickly. Let's go and go this way. And then we'll have him attack over here. 
And then also let's bring this unit down here to deal with uh, this situation down here. And let's go and make sure he's pushing the front forward. All right, so we got there in time to make sure that these don't get reconnected. Uh, we did win there, which I'm not entirely sure where he's supposed to be retreating over to. Soviet Czechoslovakia has capitulated. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why we got notified of that, considering the fact we're not even at war with their faction. But I guess it's our faction, so... And maybe we got access to that territory, but they might have given it to us. I was going to do this, so we can try and get those guys wiped out there. Free up our, our troops here. And let's go ahead and take these two provinces, cut these guys off. And then we'll also get these guys cut off. Push forward into both of those provinces. And you know what, let's go and beat that guy. So we'll sweep through here. Let's have him go through here. And we did finish up that as well. All right, excellent. All right, so let's make sure these guys stick around over here. Uh, we did get cut off again. Wow. All right, so now these units are cut off. They're just pushing, you know, forward too too quickly. Let's go and stop that. And support this instead. But I have no respect for my enemies. <laughs> That's what the problem is here. Uh, we were able to get somebody here in time. All right, excellent. So once he leaves, we'll just go ahead and take that that province here in eight hours. And you know what? Let's have him go over here and get that province taken. Since we're having some difficulty getting this. All right, let's go ahead and try and get this unit here cut off. All right, so he's advancing throughout here. We did get these guys kind of cut off, not quite. Uh, so he'll get there in one hour. He doesn't have a port here. Hmm. Let's see what he's doing. Let's let him leave here. Yeah, I think it'd be for the best if we let him leave here. And then we also want to make sure that this guy is set up here with a planning bonus. Alright, so this guy's left. Let's go and take that territory then. And then just go and shoot across here now. We are attacking division, but easily able to defeat that one. Looks like we got that one division cut off over here. Alright, excellent. Alright, let's have him come over here. Got another ace pilot. Alright, so this is the, the situation where we gotta get a win here. So the Americans are going to get credit for taking Calais unless we attack there before them. We might get there before them. So yeah, let's just go and sweep through here and take that territory. And then yeah, let's just push forward. But what we need to do is get that port right there. Since we're already winning this attack, we're going to let them finish it up. But we've got to go after that port next. They're going after Dunkirk, so now we're going to have to stop them. They just don't have enough divisions in this area to get this done. Uh, let's go and attack here and here. And then we'll sweep through and grab both of these provinces. He's almost there and once he's done we'll have him come over to this front. And then yeah, let's just go and start taking all this over. Uh, we can attempt to cut off this guy. We'll have him attack here. So I didn't realize we were still set to have Italy done which of course is unnecessary. Trying to get the British worked on, we're at 118 days, and look at all these battles that have happened in the Mediterranean. Four convoys sunk there, an Italian light cruiser and destroyer sunk here, a British battleship sunk right there. So more Italian screens, and more convoys. So yeah, having a lot of success in the Mediterranean. Let's go move this guy over to here. So we finally got our tank unit up to the trained level. So we could just create an army with those rather than trying to get them up to the full level of training. But I think we're going to let them train a little bit, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and have... Yeah, I was going to attack there. He's already going over here. Excellent. So we're bringing another division over to this front. We're about to take that province there, which will cut those guys off. So let's have this guy sweep through here. And let's just go and attack there so they don't reconnect this. Yeah, we'll attack with both of those divisions. And let's see what we did over here. We sunk two more convoys. And some of these are actually troop convoys. Move in, I'm guessing, uh, from Corsica and Sardinia. 
to other locations. We need to retake these, of course, but obviously we don't have uh, we don't have the troop numbers to do it right now. All right, so we've taken this victory point. Let's go ahead and push forward just all the way across here, guys. So he's gonna go ahead and go over to this front so we can try and get that wrapped up. And let's just go and sweep through here with this division. And make sure he comes over here as well. So we have 12 divisions assigned here. So hopefully we can get this done. Yeah, we're having some difficulty trying to get this, this area finished up over here. And they did reconnect this here. Let's go and do this attack rather than have them go over that way. This is just ridiculous. Uh, let's just have them do the attack here. I suppose what you could do is have this one come over here. All right, let's go and attack Brussels now. That'll force their capitulation. But really, the key, of course, is trying to get to that port there. This, of course, will split the, the front up again, creating more issues for us over here. But yeah, we should be able to get that wrapped up now. All right, so we're going to sweep through and take all the uh, coastal territory, get the ports. I should go this way. I'm also going to take that province. Try and cut that division off, though it does look like he's about to be defeated here soon. And Spain, I must have missed this. Spain has declared war on the Allies. Alright, so now we can do the non-aggression pact with them, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we have the non-aggression pact with the Spanish, so don't need to improve relations any further. Uh, it's a bummer that we can't have them join the faction, but of course they're already in their own faction. But yeah, I just missed them declaring war on the Allies. They saw an opportunity to get a little bit of southern France, and so that's what, what they're doing. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Did we finish up this over here? We did. Alright, lovely. So now I just need to get this finished. And should have these two cut off here momentarily. So now let's bring these guys over here. Shade they stay on this front. We'll attack right there now. Now it's just a matter of getting these guys wiped out. And I'd like to get this port here as well. So let's actually send this division over here so we can try and do an attack into the port there. And we're going to support with these guys. We can take all this over later. Let's try and get that port taken first. Uh, the British have now lost Gibraltar. So I'm going to support this attack. So yeah, the Spanish took over Gibraltar. Uh, we lost another one of our submarines. But that means they're not going to have a, any access to the Mediterranean at this point. So any ships that are still here are stuck. So all the British ships that are here are now stuck. And if you take their uh, ports away, then basically it's just a matter of time before you get them completely wiped out. So we're going to have to do naval invasions to take Malta and then Sardinia and Corsica. So we'll probably do that once we finish up over here. But we need to get as much of this territory as we possibly can. So let's actually stop with that and then come through here so we can try and get Toulouse. Because yeah, we're now competing with the Spanish to take over territory. So we're gonna have him sweep over to Bordeaux. And let's just grab all these ports. All right, looking good. So we'll have that port taken. These two will retreat over to here. And then we'll attack those and get them wiped out. Now they are attempting to reconnect over here, so let's go and stop that. Uh, this clearly isn't gonna work out. Whoever's over here, oh, he's gonna have to set up another front over here. So we can get rid of this. All right, so just waiting for this to finish up. Uh, let's go ahead and also take a look at the situation in the east. So we try and get the rest of these divisions wiped out. So we're taking all this territory over from the Allies. And we can go, to go over here. Oh, we lost that attack. Okay, so let's go and bring this unit over there then. And here's some more units that we got cut off. So let's go to work on getting those guys destroyed. I'm gonna push forward here, take that province. Alright, so just make sure that on the east they're at least moving the front forward. And we just keep on getting these factories here. Uh, let me see how we're doing on the infantry equipment. Still losing a ton of it. Yeah, this is a, a problem here. 
And of course the garrisons. We now require 253,000 for the garrisons. So let's go ahead and give the Germans a bit more of their territory back. So we're going to give them control of all this here. That should reduce our total territory by a little bit at least. That we're garrisoning. And more factories. It's interesting how I give away territory and I seem to get factories. I don't know if that's because we're just not able to properly garrison stuff or, or what the deal is. Let's go and attack over this way. But yeah, I'm not too worried about it right now, guys. Let's just get this this done here. We're at the point where, you know, a couple factories is, is just not a big deal. Alright, so they've retaken their capital. So we weren't properly defending it. Yeah, now it's just a matter of time before we get these guys completely wiped out. So there's the Belgians capitulating. And so now it's just whatever troops are still left in here. Which isn't much. Okay. So just a few divisions, basically. Alright, so we'll wipe out those guys and these guys here. And then send all these troops down to this front. Oh, well, looks like we need some of them come over. Hmm, this is all messed up now. Alright, so move some of these over here. So I'm going to take that province. I'm going to sweep through here and take all this over. He can continue his advance. This guy's trying to take off now. So let's just go ahead and take all this over. Try and cut the Spanish off from getting too much territory if we can. And uh, let's go and take all this over as well. So still winning there. Let's go and take all that. Yeah, but basically we need at least some of these divisions to come over to this front here. Actually, let's take one of them and bring them over here just because I haven't finished that up yet. And then maybe three more. There we go. That looks pretty good. Alright, um, so we need to now extend the territory that this army here is covering to cover all these ports. So we need currently 11 divisions to defend all of these ports. So what we might have to do... And we have a couple here to send. I'm, I'm going to go and send this guy now, actually. So that'll get us up to 7. But we might have to send like some of the Purple Army Divisions to defend these ports just until we get those one uh, garrison divisions built up. Uh, so the British sunk one of the Spanish destroyers here. We're helping out with our, our planes. We didn't sink any, well, let me take that back. I was going to say we didn't sink any Allied ships, but there's three destroyers that we were just able to uh, knock out of the war. Alright, so once he finishes up here, and now we've been embargoed by Denmark. That's interesting. You know, all of our uh, neighbors are embargoing us. Alright, so the next battle was these 11 convoys that were sunk. We've got dockyards and military factories. So let's go ahead and put these into... Yeah, I mean, we could keep doing the submarines, I suppose. And just have a stupid number of these higher level submarines. And then what we'd want to do is let's go ahead and... How many do we currently have here? We have 10, so we're going to want to merge these older ones together, as I've been kind of slowly doing. So we'll merge them with this one, although we won't be able to do all of them, so let's do three into this one. And then these guys can merge into this one here. So get rid of that, and then this will allow us to create another task force here. And go ahead and throw them into this. Fleet. We got two more over here to replace any losses, which it looks like we do have one of our newer submarines that was lost right there, so we're going to get that replaced. Alright, excellent. Uh, so as far as where the naval bombers are, you might want to move these ones here, just because there's not a lot of ships over here. So if we just looked, yeah, there's no, no allied ships. They're actually all over here and here now as well. Okay. So we'll just kind of move them around based on where the the British fleet is. So let's move these ones over here now. And see if we see some, some better success over there. And considering moving another one over here, since there's nothing, uh, nothing over here, or 
Actually, it makes far more sense to come over here. Let me take that back and have the, the larger one. It's only two more planes, but yeah, we'll have them come over here. So we'll have naval bombers in most of the Mediterranean now. So still not going to help the Americans out just yet. Again, I want to finish France up, though we're very close to having that done. So now it's just a matter of getting these guys wiped out, these two divisions. And then they'll come over here and help us out finishing this area. Now, unfortunately, our divisions are all pretty weak over here. It's pretty limited on what we can do. So I'll make sure we have somebody over here. All right, so he's still sweeping through. He really only needs to go this way. And then let's have this guy try and get down to this area. All right, so he's already going after that. Let's just go this way then. Just trying to cut the Spanish off from getting too much territory here. Well, let's go ahead and go and start closing this up a little bit. All right, so we're taking that one. Let's now advance up along the coast and take those ports. He'll go over here. And he'll go over here. All right, let's go and take this province and then we'll get that guy wiped out. He can grab this for us. All right, so we're grabbing all the ones up along here. This might just let the Spanish have those two mountain provinces there. Let's also take this province. And we've got these guys filling this in. Let's do it. Hmm. Yeah, we should probably have this guy on this front. All right, so he's going to take care of that for us, and then he's going to come over here and do this attack, and he'll assist with that. And then we can also try and get this unit here wiped out. All right, so once these guys here are done, we'll attack that way. Although, again, I think I'm just going to let them... The Spanish have that. But at the same time, we don't want them to be able to push forward at all. Let's have these guys... They're set to come over here. We'll stop that. Though, let's make sure we have divisions coming over here, because I'd like to get that back, though. They're cut off, so the Spanish will probably get that done before we're able to, to help out. All right, so just filling this in at this point. Let's make sure that we get these guys cut off so they can't escape. And yeah, it's just a matter of filling it in now. All right, so let's go ahead and dip over to the Eastern Front. We should be able to start paying better attention to this front soon. And once we get the Mediterranean dealt with, that is when we would uh, go to war with the the 4th International. Attack over here. Hmm. I can try and do this attack here. And then we'll assist with these troops. All right, let's go and see what's happened over here in the Mediterranean. This is going to be the last thing that we'll be doing. Uh, so we got one British light cruiser and nine destroyers sunk there. Uh, eight Italian destroyers. So yeah, again, it's just a matter of time. One destroyer sunk here. Just a matter of time until we get the British fleet completely sunk here in the Mediterranean. And uh, it's almost Mare Nostrum, guys. Uh, the only thing we won't have uh, to, to completely surround the Mediterranean is the Spanish territory. We did just give them a non-aggression pact as well, so it's not like we're gonna be able to uh, to take over their territory. Right, let's go and get all this conquered. We'll do it this way, and then we'll have this guy come through here. Yeah, let's go and take all this. And again, this is gonna be the last thing that we're doing in today's episode. And just somebody go take that for us. Bring this guy over here. All right. So let's go and take a look at the casualties for the war so far. So we've taken 71,000 casualties. Americans have taken 226. Spain just joined the war. They've already taken 20,000 casualties, probably because they're fighting in the mountains over there. Uh, the British, we've killed 858,000 for the 45,000 they killed of ours. Wow. That is insane. That is almost a kill-death ratio of 20. The Italians, we've killed 253,000. They've only killed 9.3 of ours. The Belgians, 252,000. Well, they killed 9,000 of ours. The Baltic Unitary States, they're 45% towards capitulation. We have killed 30.7 thousand. While they are not even on here against us. So yeah, we're doing pretty damn good. Almost 2 million losses 
on the Allied side. Uh, we have almost double the field in manpower now. So yeah, we're doing uh, really good against the Allies. Also, there was a, a battle over here. So British submarines are patrolling the Baltic. Eventually, once we finish up the Mediterranean, we're going to want to bring our submarines out to the other seas. Uh, but let's get this area wrapped up first before we do that. We'll protect our coastline here as we send this army, the Purple Army, into naval invasions here. Uh, get over, get control of all these ports here in the Mediterranean. And then once they're done with that, we'll declare war on the 4th International with the Purple Army attacking from the Southern Front. And the Red Army will be attacking from the Northern Front because by that point they should have gotten a lot of this territory that the Baltic Unitary State has control of. We should have gotten a lot of that under our own control. So yeah, that's the plan, guys. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you have a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.